There it is. The Cubs have lost five in a row. The Braves just wiped the mat with them this series. So it happens. You're going to lose a bad series, but the Cubs look bad right now. But I, I think the real question and the real concern is with you, Darvish, right? Absolutely. I'm just wondering, since the world, you know, remember for the Dodgers, he was good two years ago. The playoffs, he was good. World Series, he was not good. What's happened since then? He's like he can't find the strike zone. He pitches too fine with his stuff. And what I mean by that is he tries to hit the corners early in the count, and he falls behind. He puts himself in hitter-friendly counts. And so he'll be 1-0, 2-0, and then he has to come across the plate. And then if he doesn't want to come across the plate, he loses the batter. So it's either a hard hit ball or a walk. He needs to trust his fastball more pitch and try to get early contact one it keeps your defense in it and two it keeps your pitch counts now every start you see him pitching he's always has these pitch counts really high and he's only getting through four maybe five innings he needs to be more aggressive he throws way too hard and he needs to throw the center of the plate maybe a little movement with his fastball and get some early contact but it's going to continue if he continues to pitch that fine to me it looks like my observation is he's not establishing the fastball early in the count to get to his breaking stuff Guys are sitting on this breaking ball now. He has an excellent breaking ball. You can tell they're sitting mm-hmm. on it now, mm-hmm. and they're making a lot of damage with him. He's got to get back to being confident with his fastball, and it will open up. It'll make his breaking ball a lot better. Absolutely. To both of your points, he threw 28 fastballs tonight, 11 for strikes. That's it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you got to get your fastball over, Absolutely. right, as both of you are talking about it, and Darvis just not doing the Cubs are reeling right now. Not a great start to the season for them. With the Nationals, we, we, we know about Harper to Philly. We've talked about that. We saw Juan Soto last year as a 19-year-old kid come up and really be special. This kid Robles, who was actually a better prospect than Soto at the time, right, Big Hurry? So now we're seeing him. Can those two young kids, you think, make Washington forget about Harper? Uh, in due time. But you're not going to forget about a Bryce Harper overnight. This guy's a franchise player in his prime, and you lost him in free agency. But that lineup is still tough. They, they've still got a lot of length. I think it'll be fine. If they pitch well, they're still going to be in this playoff race. This kid Soto could end up being a superstar. Robles could end up being a superstar. And then you, you cut your losses because you're thinking, hey, we got lucky. And, and at this point, having this type of talent continue to come up, good for the Washington Nationals and great for Mike Rizzo. It's going to be tough. They're both 21 and 20 years old. And that's mm-hmm. hard for babies to carry a team and have a productivity like Bryce Harper did. But they're going to need protection, and you're going to need the guys around you to play well, veterans. Zimmerman, Rendon, they have to stay healthy, they have to stay out of the tub, and they have to hit, and then you will see these youngsters shine because they will play with no pressure. Kind of like what you see with Albies and Acuna Jr. because they have Freddie Freeman in the lineup to protect them, so they know they're going to get pitches to hit, and they can play their style of baseball, have their own type of swagger, wear all the chains they want to because the offense is not uh, relying on them every single day. But I like these two guys. They have a lot of speed, a lot of talent and power. They're going to be good for a long time. And the clubhouse could be easier, too, because once you lose a big superstar like that and a big presence, you know, you got kids that are having fun, it might wake up the older players. They might have fun with these young kids, mm-hmm. take the pressure off them, and, and you never know. This Washington team, I think, are still suited for the playoff this year. They just got to play up to their expectations. Yeah, if their bullpen gets stabilized a little bit. I mean, I tell you what, two home runs off Syndergaard in a week. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yes, that's a robot. <laughs> that's uh, special, buddy. That's shut out the match today.